All right, friends. Reality check time. Oh, man. This is bad. <laughs> What's happened in this place? Goodness gracious. <laughs> what a mess. What in the holy heck is going on in this space? It is really bad. Oh. And there's just like an orb here. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends, Brenda Earl Stokes. Uh, yeah, so I know I talk a lot about organization and minimalism and all of that. You know why I talk about it all the time? Because it's not my natural state. And if I'm not talking about it all the time, it literally, this is what happens. So I am gonna take you on a little trip to get you inspired and motivated to get your musical space set up for the new year. Here in the United States, um, yesterday was Labor Day. And usually the day or a few days before or after Labor Day is the sign that school is about to start here again in the US and Canada, the Northern Hemisphere. And I always think of this as the start of the year. And some of that might be because I'm in education and I sort of live my life in school years, but I'm also a mom. <laughs> and the parents, I'm sure, are all thinking the same thing. So for me, this is the time of year where I can really um, do a reset, start a lot of things over. And I really think of this as the time where I make a lot of resolutions and start new habits, um, rather than thinking of it as a January 1st start. My studio is really tiny. I think it's like 10 feet by like 15 feet. It's tiny, it's really small. This was supposed to be a dining room, but we built a wall. I'll do a studio tour another day. Um, but I live all of my life in here. I filmed all of my videos, like 400 something videos um, on my online courses here. I do everything in here. I used to teach in person here. I teach via Zoom in this room. And after the summer of getting my new Versatile Musician membership launched, more details on that in the uh, link above, um, I kind of let this go to pot as the summer went on. So I'm gonna go through my usual process for getting things organized. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is just go around and collect up anything that doesn't immediately belong in this room. So as I'm looking at it, I can see like my beach bag is here, last year's day planner, and what I'm gonna do is make a pile of things that do not belong in this room and that's going to be my first step. Now that I've managed to get rid of the things that on first glance I knew didn't belong here, the next thing that I'm going to do is take a look around and see if there's anything that I can very easily put away if I know where the home for it is. So I'm going to do that next. My son's piano books go in the piano bench. Ugh, gross pile of paper to be dealt with at a later date. Yeah, this desk situation is looking pretty pretty bad. But again, I'm gonna tackle the paper another day or later tonight or something like that. But for now, I just need to clear the space and any paper that's left over, I'm gonna deal with it later. Now, you may be noticing that I have a sort of extreme number of hard drives here. <laughs> As I was, um, updating all the courses for the Versatile Musician membership. I did a total clean out of everything and now I'm working on having a complete full backup of each one of the courses and then having a smaller backup so all of the files um, all of the Final Cut files and all of the master files of everything on two different discs and one of them I will save in a waterproof, fireproof container in my closet. One of them will be if I need it. And then I'll have a third backup of everything that's just the video files. So, and the video files and the print files so that in case I need to update things again, I have it ready to go. More paper.
as I was working on all of my stuff, I put my to-do list on index cards um, because this is something for some reason it helps me to be more efficient. So I wrote down lists of things that I needed to do on different index cards and then I get a tremendous amount of satisfaction from being able to cross things off. And then even more satisfying is getting to rip it up when I'm done. I don't know, it's just what works for me. More hard drives. And you can see I keep a collection of stickers in here and some of them are um, things that I put on my son's piano books when I'm teaching him because I know he enjoys stickers but not as much as his mother does. Um, but then I also keep these that I can put like stickers in my planner or that kind of thing. It's just something that helps me to kind of keep my process going and it's just a ridiculous source of satisfaction for me. <laughs> Lens cap for my camera. I have to keep it somewhere I can find it. All right, so the desk still looks pretty intense, but it looks more organized to me. And the few things that I know that I don't need right over here, I'm gonna put in the basket on that side of the room when I get over there. Um, my metronome always lives in my desk because I'm always grabbing it for students when I'm on Zoom. And that is basically my desk. My plan with the hard drives, um, I'm planning to, to kind of work away on that on the next couple of days, but already this is so very much better. Um, I know I'm gonna need this microphone here soon um, for some more videos I'm making. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this out for now. Um, and then, I know that this I need for my laptop. So my desk is relatively clear and that took me like five minutes or less. All right, now I'm gonna tackle the floor. So my dream would be to have a closet that I could put stuff in like all of my video equipment, but there is literally no space to put everything. And so what I generally do is I have a little space over here next to my desk that you can see here and over here is where I tend to keep all of that stuff and so I have my two lights that I put over here um, and then I have this microphone stand um, that I use when I'm doing audio recordings um, so if I'm recording myself singing and playing piano um, I would put that like I, I set the equipment up but I know over the next couple of weeks I'm not gonna be doing that kind of audio recording. And so for me, it makes a lot of sense to put this. We have kind of a walk-in closet in our hallway. Um, and so it makes sense for me to get this out of here so that it can sort of keep a little bit more <laughs> reasonable. So I'm gonna pull that one to the side. Um, this stand here is a boom stand and I put my GoPro camera on it. And so when I'm filming things where you need to see the keyboard, this is something that I use for that. And so this I can hide actually on the other side of the piano and you don't end up seeing it and it doesn't clutter my space very much. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hi, you can't see it. No one, no one is the wiser. And so with these, um, with these lights, I can just fold them up here and then they're kind of out of the way. And if I close the flaps on them too, they take up even less space, which is great. All right, so that's already looking better. And of course, um, the camera that I'm speaking to you on is on a ring light on a stand. And so there's plenty of room for me to put that when I'm done. So I'm gonna take this stand out of here. All right, so we're gonna turn our attention to this side of the room where I've got this basket <laughs> of all the stuff. Um, I've got this basket here, which is where I keep a lot of my like odds and ends for filming. 
Um, and so I'm not going to organize this right now because I think I'll have a nervous breakdown if I have to. But this is where I keep things like microphones, um, you know, additional USB drives, um, any kind of recording equipment. This is like stuff for um, for filming. It's like a little tripod and stuff. Um, I keep my camera batteries in here. All of that goes in here. And then I have some clean screen wipes, which I need one for sure to do when I'm cleaning today. And so now this has a home that I don't have to have this on the floor anymore. And I'm going to put it on top of my shelf here. Okay. So that it's out of the way and not bothering anybody. Now I'm very lucky because my husband is a master carpenter and what he did is he realized that we had a real floor space crisis in this room. And so you can see this cabinet or this cupboard here is only from here up. And so what it does is it gives us the feeling of more floor space. And when I was still seeing, um, you know, pre-pandemic times, when I was seeing students in person, um, I always made sure that this was the place where I had a folding stool and I had my music stand and they went under here and it made the room feel a lot less claustrophobic because as I said, it's like, it's a very, very small, <laughs> small space. It's very New York. And so I used to have a really tall bookshelf, but then this is all I have now. And you can see there are cables sticking out of this. What could it be, you say? More hard drives. <laughs> so I have um, kind of a variety of odds and ends over here that I'm gonna put away. I have, you know, some music books that I keep up with the rest of the music books on the top. I have like the cover for my iPad um, and a bunch of other kind of, oh, more random paper. So I'll put that in the pile. And then I keep my hard drives in this box. Um, and once I'm finished that organization product project, I'll just keep the current ones in this box here. And then I'll have the secondary backup will go up in a waterproof, fireproof box up in my closet in my bedroom. And then I'm gonna keep a third copy um, at our summer place, um, also in a waterproof, fireproof box, so that I know that no matter what happens, I still have all of my files. So paranoid maybe, but be prepared. All right, so this is looking better already. And you can see, the last thing I have here is my um, focus right. Um, and this is the thing that I, I'm going to like describe it wrong, but I plug my, it's the interface for my computer. So when I'm doing audio recordings, um, I plug my microphones into this and this communicates with the software that I'm recording music with. So again, I'm not planning on doing any recording right now. So this is something that I'm going to put in the middle closet to save this space for um, for nothing actually because when I'm filming you can see this and so generally I like to have this plain empty and then sometimes what I'll do is I'll put my CDs there so that you can kind of see it in the video but for now I like it with nothing all right so we're now it says on the video it's about 20 minutes that I've been working on this room and it already looks so much better to me and let me show you you can see the piano is clear. Um, there's just one thing up here that I need to, like that's just a little tripod that I'll put in my desk. I've always got a couple of pencils there. You can see the area with the um, film equipment is much tidier. My desk is much better. And we can see the floor, which is great. A minute ago we could not. And then you can see the rest of the room. And that is the dreadful. <laughs> This is the paper pile that I will deal with a day that is not today. Um, and so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna collect it. Um, and then this is recycling so I can get rid of that. Um, and then these don't belong in here. And so I've got this pile of paper that I'm now, I'm now gonna put on the bookshelf and I'll just, this is something that I'll remember to take care of later. Yay. So now all I have left is my music stand and I have the Manhasset music stand that everybody has and I swear I didn't steal mine from Berkeley. No, I did not. I actually bought this one. And what I use this for besides practicing, if I'm standing and practicing, um, is I actually put my laptop on it 
so that when I'm teaching from the piano, I can put my laptop here and I can adjust my angle, which works really great. And so this always has to live right next to the piano where I keep um, this stuff. So this lives here and then I can kind of pull it out as needed and it's not directly in my way. Now I have one stray microphone um, that is my piano microphone that I don't need. So I'm gonna put this in the basket too. And then this like spaghetti noodle bowl of cables down here is just like, oh, I hate it. Okay, so that's looking better as well. And then I just have a couple of other odds and ends here that don't belong in the studio. Paperwork I have to manage today, my phone. And so now it's picked up. The studio is picked up, um, but it is like really dirty. And so I, <laughs> it's like, I'm looking at the dust that has built up here. You can see I have um, an individual air conditioning unit because this room gets heat from there, but um, there isn't an air conditioning vent in here because um, this was meant to all be one room, like for the room next, this is a false wall or a wall that we put up. And so this air conditioner will live here just because it gets like really unbearably hot. Um, and then the window, the same thing, there's sort of a secondary window on there. And so like, October this will will go out and there'll be a little little more room in here which is great but I'm going to take the time now to get my duster and I'm going to dust the whole room and then I'm going to vacuum it and then spend a minute and clean my electronics so let me show you Now that everything's clean, I'm just gonna go through with the vacuum and I'm gonna pull all the chairs. Um, I have the chair and the piano bench and the footrest for my son when he's practicing piano. And I'm just gonna run through with the vacuum and just get the rest of this up. So now I'm finished. Let's take a look. See, no more clutter, no more mess. Floor is clean. All of my equipment, camera equipment is all there. Still a bit of a sort of spaghetti situation here, but much better. Look, you can see my desk. It's clean and disinfected, no fingerprints, hooray. And the same with my window. Oops, gotta put my birds up here. My birds are always there. And then this lighter is for when I have my nice candles lit. And you can see no more huge pile of paper and random stuff on the printer. And you can see the floor. It's totally, completely clean. And look at my bookshelf. So much better. Oh my goodness. Here, let me show you this view of it. Look at that. It's a tiny studio, but at least now it is clean. So I hope this video was entertaining and also motivating for you to clean up your space. I know for me, I am somebody who really needs to have a pretty substantial amount of order in my space um, in order to not feel overwhelmed, which is incredibly ironic because I am really not naturally an organized person. <laughs> Again, which is why I talk about it all the time because it really takes a lot of effort for me to be able to keep the space clean. Um, but I know what a huge difference it has made in my productivity to have a tidy space, an orderly space, um, to have things really put away, to be able to process papers and to be able to negotiate all of that. Um, and so what I urge you to do in this season, if you are also in back to school season wherever you live, 
live or if you just are watching this not in the back to school season and you're just looking for some motivation and inspiration to get your space set up again i hope this was helpful um, to go through the same process and just to see someone slogging it out and doing it when i'd rather just be playing like you know some bud powell transcriptions or something anyways if you like this video make sure you um click like subscribe um get to be part of the party here part of our little community here at piano and voice with brenda um, definitely go to my website and you can see some of the things that I've been working on and also leave a comment below if there's some content that you want me to create for you. I am always keeping track of what tutorials people want or advice or motivation or inspiration. So thank you so much for watching and best of luck to you as you reset your space.